In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a nine volt battery and get six triple A's out These of are it. a little smaller than triple A, but they will work in a pinch. You can see there's six of these all connected together to get the nine volts. And even though they're a little smaller, I'll show you how we get around that. There've been times when I've needed a triple A and they're nowhere to be found. If you leave that little metal piece on the battery, you can see it extends it all the way up to the same height. Because it's smaller, it will fit and the door will close. Not a perfect match, but they work. Let me go through the details. This could be a brand new battery or it could be a battery that's in pretty good condition. We need to pull the metal off this and it's easier than you might think. If you take some side cutters, just grab onto the top of the battery and just basically strip it all away. Kind of like those old sardine cans. I use batteries like this in a lot of other applications. If I've got a project and I need batteries that are a little smaller than AA, these work great. Now, if you do compare these to the AA and the AAA, here's the AAA. You can see they're smaller. And here is the AA and the AAA, so you can see them all together. Now, all these batteries have the same voltage, one and a half volt. We need to cut this top piece off for the nine volt, and this is really nice. I can use this in a lot of projects as well. I cut it in the middle so I can still solder onto it so if I wanna connect a nine volt to another project, I can use this part. It's a really high quality piece. Now we have this PVC shrink tube that is connecting all the batteries together. So if we just take the pliers and just get a good cut on it, we can tear this off. Now we've got the bottom section all revealed. Now we'll just need to cut the rest off. You can use these same pliers and just get a cut on it and just pull it all the way off. If you've never opened up one of these nine volts, this is pretty cool. Now we can pull them apart, just like those old time sausages. Just wind them all the way out. Now we'll cut these metal bands right in the middle and you wanna leave the metal on each battery. This extra metal will extend the height of the battery. Just snip them all apart. The sharper the cutters, of course, the better. So you're basically looking at six AAA batteries here. You'll see when we compare this battery to the AAA, this little metal tab brings it to the correct height. Now there's a groove on the side that is on the positive side of the terminal. This flat side is the negative side. And if you look here, there's a groove all the way around. Now, if you test it with a voltmeter, you can see this is the positive side. You can also see the battery that I chose didn't have a lot of power left in it, but it'll demonstrate the concept of what I'm trying to do here. Here's the positive side of the battery, and I'm gonna use that little piece of metal to extend the battery to make the contact. Not a perfect fit, but it does work, and you can get the lid back on. On the other side, you can see it's saying low power. That's because the battery I used was not fresh. If the battery's fresh, you'll have no problems. So if you're in a pinch and you need AAA batteries, or you need a smaller battery for a project, this will work great. Well, I really appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.